plaintiff, Teresa Reby, hosts her own adult parties. And during the party, she sells sex toys. Teresa claims the defendant came to one of her parties and agreed to purchase some products. But she never paid for the products, so she's suing. Defendant Jessica Stefanik went to one of Teresa's parties after a breakup because she needed to spice up her life. And the party was a blast. Jessica claims after she agreed to purchase the products, Teresa badmouthed her, so she refuses to pay. Start with you. For 13 years, I've done my own business as adult female parties. I educate women on um, their bodies and how to keep life interesting. And in their. You mean you educate them? Well, you know. Do you Everything sell them stuff, or you also? I also educate just, them. I, I actually you have classes. seminars. Oh well, kind of like that, but a little different. We have them in the people's houses. Girls have the parties. Eight, they have to be at least eighteen. At the parties, when we go over this stuff, you explain to them exactly, you know, how to use it, why you're using it for certain things, and okay. and to go from there. Um, I have at the parties. I call it my lotions, potions, toys, and lingerie is what I sell. Um, and I carry the toys, what I call my bobs, the B.O.B. With you? Yes, with me. And I have a, I show you, I have a. B.O.B., your bobs. Um, <laughs> shoot, I heard that before. Bat- battery operated boy. boy there you friend. go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to show me? This is, um, to give you an idea, this, I, I have some really interesting stories, but this is some, like at the parties, that's, I, I carry the Give me bobs. some of these interesting stories. I carry the bobs in a... In, you carry all these? In a gun you, case. You're freaking yourself to in death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have said that. That was a reflex statement. <laughs> yeah, we call it our heavy artillery, so I have it, you know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> See, the gun case itself has actually an interesting story. I got pulled over on my way home from a party on a Saturday, and it was about 1.30 in the morning, and we went through the, you know, no, I haven't been drinking, I just did a party thing, and in the front seat I had a love swing and the gun case. And the officer said, what do you have in the gun case? And I said, well, as I said, it's some of my party stuff. And he said, ma'am, you need to open the gun case. And I said, you don't want me to open the gun case. <laughs> I said, it's some of the stuff I sell. And he goes, ma'am, you need to open the gun case. And I said, officer, honest, it's the vibrant, you know, it's the stuff I sell. He said, ma'am, I said, okay, fine. So I got out of the truck, put it on the hood and you know, flipped it open. He goes, ma'am, you need to close the gun case. <laughs> That's great. And he still gave me a ticket. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh my God. He has the best story in the precinct. Seven years right. later, his wife has a party and he comes out. He says, oh, I see you use the gun case still. I said, I knew you had the best story. His wife came to the party. Or his wife had decided to have one. A and party. he still knew I had the gun case. So he obviously was getting a lot of mileage out of that. Right. <laughs> so... So you knew about that, and then I, I mean, I have lots, I have really a lot of interest. One more. I have a, <laughs> when I first started, the hardest party I ever did, because like I said, it's all walks, 18 and up, all walks of life. The youngest person at the party was 67 years old. She was one that had Youngest. It, the youngest. The oldest person was 82. After we got done, because we talk about the restraints and all that kind of, after we got done, this 82-year-old wanted to try out the whips and some restraints. And all I could think about on the way home was, I'm going to see his name in the obituary because he's going to have it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me get some background from you. Um, I met Teresa through a mutual friend who had been going through her parties for a couple of years. Um, I went up there. I had just gone through a 10-year breakup. And um, so I needed a little spice in my life. You know, I decided let's go to this adult party and have some fun. You know, it's all girls. And um, it was it was a blast. There was a couple older women there, too. Not too old, but um, we weren't allowed to say no when you were asked to try something. And not one of the so pictures you all did that it you and had. Opened? Well, no, no. They can say that they don't have to Y'all try it, but I think, well, I think, well, what? Yeah. Well, it's a fun party. So, like, she had me on the floor like a turtle in restraints. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I, we, the girls get to try out how the things are used. Yeah, so we really? use, right. So that we, it's called the sexy spreader, and she got, she was she tried it. Out. I was nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I went. got too much going on in my mind. <laughs> we got to do something. We got to talk about something else because you said you all would try it. Right. Well, they don't like trying it on each other. No, 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 no. We tried like the restraints. Uh, She put up the door swing. 
Yeah, that's trying on each other. You <laughs> tie the person up and somebody whips the person. Well, they have their clothes on. Yeah. Well, the point I'm making is... <laughs> All right. And why are you suing her? What happened? Um, Jessica, I'd given her product um, in January and in March, both parties, with the agreement that she was going to uh, repay me for the items or pay me for the items when her taxes came in. Something I do all the time. It's not it's not unusual. Do people pay you off their taxes? Yeah, it's not unusual. For 13, this 13 years, I... Everybody been, paid. Yes. I guess they needed to come back. So yeah, well, they're paying it. you. Yeah, you'll get your money. Ma'am, what do you say about the repayment? She says you agreed to repay when you receive your taxes. Yes. Well, I hadn't worked, so I was falling behind after the 10-year split up with bills because now I was paying for everything. So I had gotten behind. I kept letting her know. You know, she said pretty much just let me know what's going on, you know, so that I don't freak out. So I, did, I would message her back, but she started getting a hold of me on Facebook very unprofessionally. Called, me a, called me a bad mother because I couldn't pay her. Um, no, that called was- me a Sorry, uh, excuse my language. Um, but I mean, I have stuff to prove it right here. Who was able to view that? Um, myself and her. That's it? That's um, the two of you all doing name calling? She, yeah. It'd be different if she was disclosing that to the world or a bunch it's of followers. It's on Messenger, or, but I don't remember yeah, ever Yeah, as long that. as it's not being disclosed to hundreds of followers, it's you and her arguing name calling. And that's what you do when you... Irritated well, and we, you, have, I mean, and you I, haven't been, the, uh, you know, doing your thing. I, I tried to, I tried to let her out, know, you know, and frustrated. And I'm not, I'm not stressed denying out. that I owe her. You're not I'm not that denying you. that I bought product. I'm not, you know, I, but I'm saying I stopped paying or I didn't pay her because of the unprofessionalism that she showed. Oh, well, you need to return her property. How about that? Oh, I can't take that You'd back. You'd die, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd die. I might. Yeah. <laughs> Judgment for the plane if you have no legal defense. Have a good day. I'd, ra- I'd just rather be done with you at this point because of your unprofessionalism. Well, and I will never, ever recommend you for anyone. And I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm just glad that it's over. I, I'm glad it's over. I don't have to get and messages anything, threatening so. all, all the time anymore. So 